Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a glow effect to a video clip using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this one video clip. I downloaded this video clip from Pixabay. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up Premiere Pro and I'll drag and drop this video clip into the media pool here. Let's drag and drop that onto the timeline and then we can use this little handle here to zoom in on that video clip. I'm going to zoom in a little bit like this. I'm going to hold down the Alt key on my keyboard and I'm going to left click on this and drag it up once and that will create a duplicate copy. Let's hide the bottom video clip for now. Okay, we need to add some effects from here and we also need to see the effects options here. So make sure you go to window and make sure you've got effects controls and effects enabled here like this, these two. Let's go to the effects here and the first thing we're going to type in is Luma for the Luma key. So let's type in Luma, L-U-M-A and we've got the Luma key here. Let's drag and drop that onto the first video clip, the one at the top here. We'll have these options here for the Luma key and we can change the cutoff. And we're gonna darken this down. We're gonna set it to around 70, around 78. So you can see it's quite dark and all of these light areas are gonna be part of our glow. So that's the first thing we want to do. Okay, so in the opacity options here, you'll see opacity. In the blend mode, we want to set it to hard light, hard light here. You can actually set it to soft light, hard light, vivid, or linear. In fact, we'll set it to linear for the moment. Let's set it to linear light here. And the next thing we want to do is add a Gaussian blur. Let's type in GAU, and that will be for Gaussian blur, GAU, and we can see the Gaussian blur here. Let's drag and drop that onto the first video clip at the top here as well. And now we can adjust the blurriness, right? So here we can adjust the blurriness, and we can also adjust the dimension so that whether it's vertical or horizontal let's turn back on the bottom layer let's turn that one back on and now we can start to see some sort of glow around the edge so let's make sure we can actually see that the way we can test this is by hiding the top layer so if i hide it and enable it you can see like the path here is glowing all of the building around the lights so wherever we highlighted things those things are glowing so if i turn off the bottom layer you can see like the mask here it's almost acting like a mask a luma mask or key and if we turn this back on we can go over to the threshold and we can adjust the threshold and we can also adjust the cutoff point as well so we can make things glow more we can reduce them so if we move across the timeline maybe we can find something with a bit more color in it and we can see so somewhere like around here is a good place to make your adjustments so when we adjust the cutoff point you can see how we can affect um, the scene like this right so I want to have it quite quite a lot of glow going on here but we can adjust the threshold as well here so what the other thing you can also do is play around with the blend modes here so i would, I would suggest that you go and experiment with these uh, click on different ones and see what effects you can get you've got like soft light soft light so that'll be a lot more subtle and then when you go down to like pin light that'll be another example and you can also go to uh, vivid light and that'll be a lot brighter you can see it's affecting uh, the scene here and just go and experiment and turn off the top layer and flick between them so you can see what's going on in your scene. Um, I'm going to leave it on linear light. With the horizontal and vertical here, you can set it to horizontal, and then the, the, the glow will be like on a horizontal, or you can set it to vertical, and then the glow will be on a vertical here. You can also adjust the Gaussian blur. So inside the Gaussian blur, for now we'll leave it on um, horizontal and vertical, and you can adjust the Gaussian blur to increase or decrease the amount of glow that you're going to uh, create right like this a nice way to see this also is to hide the bottom layer and as you're increasing or creasing, increasing or decreasing the blur you kind of get an understanding of what's going on why that is affecting the scene in this particular way sometimes it's worth turning off the bottom layer just to see what you see um, <clears throat> here on this first clip and then turn it back on so you get a better understanding of what's going on here so I'm going to reduce the cutoff I'm going to increase the cutoff point a little bit and it would be kind of nice if we could change some of the colors of the glow as well. So to do that, let's go back up to here and type in HLS. That's hue, um, light, and saturation, right? And we want the color balance here. So let's drag and drop the color balance onto the first video clip, the top one. And when we go down here, we've got the lightness, the hue, and the saturation. So we can increase the saturation. Or we can decrease that. You won't see much change in the scene, but you will see some sort of changes here as and when you increase or decrease this value, this particular value. So I'm going to leave it at zero, but sometimes the hue, you can change that um, and increase the saturation a bit. 
you can actually change the glows right so if you're looking at these lights up here you see they're kind of yellow and as you uh, toggle through the um, hue and saturation you can actually change the colors there and the glows around these car headlights they'll sort of glow and change color so as we move across we'll see this effect here like this one other thing you can do is in the um, Gaussian blur you can bring that um, value up or down like this just to increase or decrease the blur okay so lastly what we can do is change the threshold here so if it's set to 100 if we start to bring that down if we adjust it carefully we can almost get like a night sort of scene so we can have this darkness in the background we have these sort of nice sort of night type scenes when we click play now we can see like the lights are illuminating the buildings and stuff like that this is a pretty cool effect as well and that's just changing the uh, threshold here right so you can increase it it'll be really say it's full sort of brightness but as we reduce that down we can get to this sort of effect and sh you can change the cutoff point as well you can go and experiment so it's really about experimenting with these elements here to kind of get the the sort of style uh, that you want and nice thing to always check afterwards is just turn off the top layer and you can see how that's affecting your scene how you, a lot of this building has been hidden away in the background and i think this looks pretty cool so we've done quite a lot of work on this particular video clip this is just showing you how to add the glow effect but you can apply that to almost anything right it doesn't have to be this type of scene you could be filming yourself or you know it could be, on a, could be pretty much anything any sort of video clip you have um tends to work better when there's sort of light and dark elements in the scene as well so that's kind of something to bear in mind where you've got some dark elements and some light elements um if it's too much light in there then the glow effect won't work as well okay let's go ahead and minimize this let's close this folder that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it useful and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial